We're at the Sonic Rainbow with uh, Jude Carino, and you've had the store, you said uh, technically 31 down years. as a business. Downtown here, as a full-time business in this place, it's 28 years and several months. Or, and so we're... We're going to hit 30. They are, they are <laughs> part of a rich Casper history. And we do. guess what? For the size of our community, let me say this. We have an absolutely wonderful community of music people in this town. People that enjoy listening. People that enjoy playing. And over the course of time, over the last several decades, you name it, it's been here. Well, guess Oops. what is starting to come back? And he won't disagree with you. Because it's been coming back a while. It's been coming back a while. And that is it, we, records. Over the last several years, we have learned there's a whole new generation of record lovers that want to play their records on the turntable instead of downloading or listening to it on CD. And, and why do you suppose that is? And why do you suppose the last few I years? I've, I've, I've struggled with a really good answer. For me, I know what the answer is. The answer is it sounds different. People that vinyl, listening to a record has a warmth, has a warmth, almost velvety sound to it versus a CD that is, it's completely clean, it's sterile, it's perfect, but vinyl has a different warmth that allows the sound to be, it feels like a whole, rather than each individual part that you can hear. So you get a different listening experience with vinyl than you do with CDs, or even a download, or any of those other formats that exist out there. Hard to believe, but look, this so looks we like have, we're walking in a store yeah, in Berkeley. We've seen and over the last the 60s several years is, right here. <laughs> you got, so one of the things I'll show you, we have over the last few years, we've our vinyl selection in terms of new vinyl, they are pressing vinyl. In fact, let me give you an example of how well vinyl has come back. There was a new Rolling Stones that was put out last month. We were able to get the records of that piece on the CD, barely were able to get them. They did not print hardly any CDs. <laughs> They printed it on vinyl of the Rolling Stones, of the Rolling Stones. Even Taylor Swift and her new Taylor album, 1989 Taylor's version, it was hard to get the CDs. We can get the vinyl because that's where, so even the, 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 the industry is making more records. But uh, and I'll, another example, literally today, a friend of, of mine in the store, his daughter is 14 years old. What did she want for Christmas? But a turntable. So what did he buy her for Christmas down here? A record that she will love. Well, in fact, you know, two of them. Uh, Something Walmart for, had them on the show. Even Walmart has them. And Target has them. Go <laughs> even, figure. Even Best Buy had them. Yes, even, hey, when the big boxes start carrying it on, then you know. So uh, th this is this is all of our, all this inventory is our new, our, 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 our new records, factory pressed all of them pressed this year. I want to show you something that's also helped the vinyl revival. It's over here. Okay, we'll follow along. We'll follow. But you said we live concerts special, in here too, didn't you? Back in the corner. Back, back in, in the, the corner. corner. And it got crowded, didn't it? Oh, it did. <laughs> <laughs> this here, it's called Record Store Day. Every third April, the third Saturday in April now, and next year it'll be year 16, they do it's it's a national celebration of independent music stores that was started by some music store owners that were seeing this happening so they decided as a collective we're going to create this holiday and that day there are about seven to eight hundred different titles that are pressed just for that day and in order to participate you have to sign a pledge as a store, you have to be a brick and mortar store. You can't flip them and put them on the internet. People have to come into the store. All the people that work in the store can't pull things. So you have to be a physical customer in a physical store to get these limited releases. And if you've ever seen the lines outside, and we have Sun lines that go all up the store and around the corner, and they line up. Uh, I will. So as a little factoid for you for this year. 
we literally had, it was all through the store and down to the corner of, of the second street. The first person in line came here at 2.30 in the morning. Up Now, number 10 that was in the line, they got here at 6. We opened at 10. But they were here for some very specific pieces, and they got them. And they got them. So the other part of Record Store Day is they've now done the same thing for Black Friday. And it's called Black Friday. It's called Black Friday Record Store Day, which is different than Record Store Day because it's it's just Black Friday. So those two days of the year, there are special releases that come out that are just for stores like us, a brick and mortar store. So let me it's, come on down. It's a ways from more. your beginnings in the basement. Oh yes, it is. It is. We. It has. So the other thing that's happened. Oh, another. Uh, if you look in this this part of the store over the course of time has changed. When we first opened, just this, the one couple of racks of, re of some records, we had some other CDs and videos in here. Now, this is all nothing but used records. Nothing but used this records. This is fine, you never know what along, you can find along here, along right? This, along this wall is, I don't wanna say rock, it's, it's everything else but country, jazz, soundtracks, we have a, other, few other things. One nice thing about our store, everything is alphabetized, so it's easy to find. <laughs> it's constantly changing. We, we buy collections, a lot of collections, and you never know what's gonna be here. One of the things, uh, some feedback that I got in the last two years at Christmas time, people that were coming into town to visit their family from big cities, Denver, Austin, Texas, Los Angeles, New York City. They came in here and looked through our used and gave us compliments about how wonderful our selection is. Well, we only have 50,000 people here. <laughs> if, if we're in Denver and we put this stuff out, there's up to a million people that could come into the store. Here, we don't have it, so it's still here. It's still here and people, you can find gems, but you find all price ranges, everything. It's, it's it, and we've had to separate you get a comedy section, and then you get Beatles. Oh, just our Beatles alone, just Beatles. And different kinds of things that we have that we sell in the store. Sonic Rainbow, a truly unique <laughs> store. <laughs> ha having, a, having a good year this year yes, because- Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Albums are coming back. Albums are coming back, and we've got another new generation of people. And you know what? Grandma, grandpa, mom and dad are doing a favor for their children. And, and, and having them now experience what it is like to listen to a record. And along with that, we're educating them so that when they're 70 and 80 years old, that record will still play, will still look good, and still play good so that their children will have an opportunity to listen to what Grandpa did. Jude, <laughs> and maybe even like it. <laughs> we, we know you've been busy this year. We thank you so much for talking with us. Absolutely. Thanks again. You are very Sonic welcome. Sonic Rainbow on center. Merry Christmas. <laughs>